if you were to order a good mushroom risotto, you'd have to pay anywhere between this price. We're gonna make it at this price. Welcome to Make Unders, because cheapness never runs out of style. That was so terrible, I'm just gonna face palm and walk out of here. So today we're making a mushroom risotto. Now this has to be one of the more popular items in an Italian restaurant. Generally people who don't want to experiment and prefer playing it safe will order a risotto, a mushroom one to be specific. I'm going to show you how to make my perfect version without the fancy ingredients like the porcini or the shiitake or the truffle. I'm going to make a no fuss version so that everyone at home can have the luxury of eating a fine risotto. So with all that said, let's begin. We're going to start by making a mushroom pate. Not traditional, but in this recipe, I'll be using two different styles of mushrooms. One is in paste form and the other is in chunks. By adding two textures of mushrooms, you're amplifying the mushroom flavor, making a much better risotto than you've ever had. To make the paste or pâté, if you prefer being chefy, in a pan, you're going to add two tablespoons of oil. To that, you're going to add the butter mushroom stems, about 250 grams, and you're going to saute until the mushroom turns a golden brown. Then you're going to add 2 tablespoons of chopped onion and 1 tablespoon of chopped garlic. Saute for about 2 minutes until soft. Season with salt and pepper and then transfer the contents into a blender. Add half a teaspoon of dry herbs and one tablespoon of cream. Blend on high speed until you have a smooth and homogeneous paste. Season with salt and pepper if required and taste to ensure it's to your liking. Then we're gonna saute 350 grams of mushrooms. You're gonna take a large nonstick pan, you're gonna pour three tablespoons of oil and saute your mushrooms on high heat. Don't crowd the pan with too many mushrooms. Saute in batches. Ensure the mushrooms are completely browned and then transfer them onto a tray for later. To make the risotto in a heavy pot, you're going to add 3 tablespoons of oil. To that, you're going to add 3 tablespoons of chopped garlic and 10 tablespoons of chopped onion. Cook at medium to low heat until soft but not brown. Then you're going to add 300 grams of arborio rice and cook for about 2 minutes. Toasting the rice is important as it enhances the nutty flavor of the rice, which then adds an extra layer of flavor to your dish. Then you're going to add 3 fourths of a cup of white wine and let that reduce completely. Go ahead and have a sip of wine yourself. <laughs> it will have a different level of flavor to your risotto. Now you're going to add your first ladle of hot vegetable stock. If the stock is cold, then the cooking with timing will increase drastically. So hot stock is a must. Now you need to constantly stir throughout the cooking process. By stirring you ensure two things. One is that every single grain of rice cooks evenly and second you're releasing the starch which makes the risotto very creamy on its own. Don't be tempted to add all the stock. Add the next ladle only after the first ladle of stock has been absorbed by the rice. You'll be adding a total of 1.2 liters of vegetable stock for this recipe. Once you've added the last ladle of stock, you should have noticed that the risotto has tripled in volume and the rice is cooked through. Add your mushroom pate and sauteed mushrooms. Stir for one minute and then take the pot off the heat. Make sure the risotto isn't dry. It should be slightly runny and should ooze. We're going to finish the cooking by adding 60 grams of cold butter, 2 tablespoons of chopped parsley and 60 grams of parmesan. Now this is where the magic happens. When you mix that in, you'll notice that your risotto is getting exponentially creamier that will instantly put a smile on your face. And that's your risotto cooked like a pro. This risotto should be enough for 6 portions, so that brings each portion to price of
All right, guys, and that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys are comfortable going over budget, then pochini, shiitake, and truffle oil will be a great addition. However, this is still a very good risotto on its own. As always, you know the drill. If you learn something, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you next time.